I don't know. Where's mom? I, uh, Ethan, uh, where's Ethan? He, he's fine, he's at Colony. Dad, is she down there? Julie, listen to me. I need you to get help, okay? Get as many people as you can. Fourteen twenty eight M. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Ian. How are you? Real good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. Appreciate that. Um, I have a question about Jim. He's so calm, and he hasn't really had a meltdown like some of the other characters. And I was just wondering, how tricky is that to portray that, or is that something that you have within you that it's pretty easy for you to tap into. Huh. Oh, if you could only ask my wife <laughs> that question. Um, I think I am a pretty calm person, but I have a temper and there is all the things seething underneath and I'm some I'm sometimes surprised that people think I have a very calm exterior when there's you know a sea of volatility underneath and emotion uh I feel things deeply and intensely hopefully that comes across on screen even in those moments of composure But yeah, I, I hadn't really thought of that, that Jim hasn't had, uh, like, snapped at Harold. Harold's get Boyd one time. He's just not the type. He's not the type to, like, be easy to yell at somebody. It doesn't come naturally to him. And you see it when you read a character and you quickly gather what, what, a, what a human being is like. Like I, I, I have an uncle who is a, who is a, a rocket scientist, an engineer background, and he is smart as could be. And I've also never seen him raise his voice. Um, then again, I haven't seen him get stuck in a place like from town. Um, but you, you know what I mean? Like certain people, their composure is just different. Their, their constitution is some people just lose it easily and others, uh, can hold it in. So Jim is a guy who can hold it in until, until, you know, until he snaps. That's awesome. And maybe in season three, there'll be a snappage. A snap. Yes. Yes. Season three. Yes. And, um, I had a question. This kind of goes to the to the calmness um because a good example of him keeping his composure is when the house collapsed and he's buried under the the rubble how how hard is that for you to play like I don't know what movie magic goes into all of that but it looks so real and I don't know what you have to tap into to go there but whatever you did you did a great <laughs> thank you uh the production design is really good on the show they're, they're, it's a talented team. So they build great sets, which makes the suspension of disbelief not too terribly difficult. So that was that particular set was great. Everywhere you looked, there was a collapsed house all around. And then I slot into this um, little carve out for myself. And then they um, screw, screw uh, boards onto me where I actually can't move. Um, so so th therefore it's easy to have that, like, oh, it, it, it feels trapped because, or it looks like I'm trapped because in a way I am. And then you just go with it. So I think it's about 
even allowing yourself to get into those situations, which makes it so you can either do good work or not. The first thing is to even say yes <laughs> in life, say yes, and get into some uncomfortable, awkward positions and see how you do. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, well, I am out of time, but thank you so very awesome answers. Awesome job too. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye-bye. I look forward to the next time. <laughs>